the confirmation of Ghanaian defender Mohamed Salisu's return to the national team ordinarily should be wonderful news because of the many attempts in the past to get the highly rated defender to return to the Black Stars. But will it all end well for Mohamed Salisu and the Black Stars or is there the potential for trouble ahead? First off, let's begin with some background. Mohamed Salisu has consistently refused to play for the Black Stars over the past couple of years for reasons he has failed to reveal to the public. The most prominent amongst many rumors suggests that he was badly treated by GFA officials in times past and so decided to never play for Ghana again. This decision by Salisu to turn down Black Stars collapse, whilst refusing to also make public his reasons for doing so, caused many Ghanaian football fans to become upset with the defender and declare that he was no longer needed since he was clearly not committed or interested in playing for the Black Stars. According to these fans, enough time and energy had been spent on trying to get Salisu to change his mind and it was time to forget about him and focus on the many capable defenders who were willing to play for Ghana. These fans said there was nothing extraordinary about Salisu with Alexander Jiku and Leicester City's Daniel Amate excelling in the World Cup qualifiers. So now, with Salisu changing his mind and agreeing to return with a few months to the 2022 World Cup in Qatar, what happens to all the bad blood that has been caused by his past rejection of collapse and worsened by his decision to keep silent on the reasons behind it? What happens when Salisu gets to start ahead of any of the two centre-backs who qualified us to the World Cup? And more crucially, what if he is unfortunate to cause any error that affects Ghana's chance at the World Cup? With all the bad energy that has been caused by Salisu's past rejection of collapse and his silence on the reasons why, will it not be better for him to come out now and explain why he was refusing collapse in the past? Doing this will go a long way to clearing all the bad blood and ensuring that Ghana football fans will support him wholeheartedly and wish him well, rather than possibly hoping he slips up so that they can attack him. So this is to Mohamed Salisu and all those who are close to him and also to GFA officials. Please get Mohamed Salisu to reveal to Ghanaians the real reason why he rejected collapse in the past and also why he has now agreed to play for the team. We do not want to believe that it is because of the upcoming World Cup in Qatar. Although we must admit that a player of Salifu's quality and pedigree will be a big boost for Ghana at the World Cup in Qatar. As always, we hope and pray for the best for the Black Stars of Ghana and hope they go on to achieve greatness. If you like this video, please do take a moment to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment if possible. Thank you so much for watching.